Hello, today we're going to have a quick look at file and folder permissions, okay, and the ACLs, which is the access control list. We're going to have a very quick look at it and see how it works. Okay, basically, we need to get to the screen that allows us to change permissions on a file or folder. How do we do it? We click on the file or folder, click properties. And then go to security and then go to advanced. Okay, over here, if we see that folder is basically by clicking over here, administrator, and then view. All this is grayed out, basically showing that it is inherited permissions. Okay, so how do we do that? We need to disable inheritance for first. Okay, now we can add Okay. And now that we have that, we can give this person full control over it. Full control basically, as the name states, is read, write, modify, change it, etc., etc. Okay, we can only apply these permissions to objects or containers within this container. So basically, it's not going elsewhere, the permissions. Advanced permissions with the full control is given everything. Basically, a few things to think about is basically, are you able to read attributes, the special extra edition data on files and folders, write attributes, okay, delete, delete some folders and files. If you have this ticked, I mean unticked, and if this is ticked, it's still going to give the person permission to delete the file or folder. Okay, so make sure those two go together. Okay, you can remove permissions for the user to create folders, append data, add extra data to the end of files. Okay, create files, write data. You can basically either add or remove permissions for a user. Okay. Let's click OK. And now this person has been given full control. We've also had a look at inheritance. We might want to look at ownership of files and folders. Okay. Okay, before we do that, now for example, <coughs> change it to the administrator. There we go. And now that's changed the owner. Okay, basically, the owner has full control over it, and the owner basically, like the owner of property has all the rights and permissions and authority to basically grant permissions to other users, to remove permissions from other users. So by being the owner, you are basically in control of that object, be it a file or folder, subfolders, etc. Okay. You can add extra users over here. You can fine grain their permissions based on the list that I showed you. And this is ideal in a workplace, in a network environment where you want to basically either prohibit or grant other people access to files and you want to fine tune it. So for example, you might want to give access to people in the IT department to, shall we say, view the accounts department files. Okay, they might need to do it for like a security reason or whatever or an admin reason. However, you don't want them to change anything. So you might disable certain IT users from having access to being able to write to certain files. Okay. You might also want to block off certain folders completely from certain users. So hopefully this helps. Thank you for watching. Um, have a good day.